children good morning welcome back to lesson number 3 in this series we have been looking at the structure of gce ordinary level examination papers so today we will be looking at lesson number 3 which is activity 3 of course this has to do with describing a picture now classically when you want to describe a picture in english you have to know three things the first one you have to know what is the situation for example this is a classroom or this is the scenery or a scenery of a seaside this is a picture of a garden second you have to know the actions that is happening there for example there is a girl she is riding a bicycle there is a boy sitting on the chair so these sort of actions you should know and finally you have to know what is happening in the background for example there is a vase on the table there is a picture hanging on the wall there is a cat between two chairs so if you know these three classical things you can score marks very easy i have to tell you you children are very lucky very very lucky do you know why earlier they had there was a time where there was a picture given and you have to write the whole sentences this is that this is this he is doing that he is doing this this is in this is on but in 2016 the government and the education board has decided to change the structure to make it easy for you students in 2016 and 17 as well as 18 and 19 the paragraph is already given so in 2020 i hope the paragraph will be given to you you have 10 blanks you have to fill in those blanks that's all nothing else you have 10 blanks you just have to fill in those blanks in 16 and 17 there were no words given to choose from no vocabulary but 18 and 19 words are given i'm sorry words were given so i think in 2020 you might get a similar structure a picture will be given a description will be given all you have to figure out is put what word to where so i think my children you should have understood what was given and what was taught in this lesson to summarize you have to know about picture description there are three things the situation the action and the background i will give you the activities as slides right now you have to do these activities and remember there is a catch i have put that in the announcement you have to write the whole passage and send me the answer that's all for today children i hope we'll meet again see you goodbye